welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do a video on the uh, diffuser rear light i'm gonna remove the running light and just leave the brake light because um, i was looking at the back and i just feel that it has too much too many lights in the back so what i'm gonna do i have the the reflector sequential lights i have the the LED V3s and then I have that one in the middle on all the time when the lights are on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel the running light on the on the diffuser and just leave it as a brake light. So when you turn on the lights, the, that light won't turn on. It only turn on when you press the brakes. And I think it's going to look better because I, I don't like, I didn't really like how I looked with all the lights. I have the lights on the bumpers, I have the lights on the top. On the, the the regular tail lights and then that light so so what i did uh, i came to the connection of the of the um, uh diffuser light and i was trying to figure out which wire was the one that that was for the running light for i mean for the parking light that stays on all the time and the other one that's for the for the brake light so it's the white one the white one is for the for the um what do you call it the parking light that the one when you turn on your lights and it just turns on so i just cut it and this one the red one and the and the black one are the ones for the brake light let me demonstrate all right so i'm going to press the brakes and I, that's going to be just the brakes Okay, so now I'm gonna turn on the lights and then, so you can see that it's not gonna turn on and that's why I want it to be off when you turn on the lights and, and only on when you press the brakes. So that's the lights on right there. The light's not on, the, the diffuser light. So now I'm gonna press the brake. So that's what I wanted because I just felt that it had too many lights in the back already and it, I didn't wait, like the way it looked. So so now I'm going to use a diffuser light just as a brake light and um, it's not going to be on all the time. So so what you do is um, I already showed you giving an example you have to do, but I'm going to show you again. So so you won't make my mistake. I already know which one it is. Just, just cut the, the white one. This is the plug that goes to the light that connects to... To the the harness of the tail light so you get the where it goes out to the light and then you cut the white one off and you leave the red one and the black one if you want to do that to yours if you don't like the way it looks with too many lights in the back just do that cut the cut the white one off and you'll be fine right now what i'm doing i'm actually um removing the v3 lights because um after some rain right here in california um and it's been cold i got a lot of i don't know what you call it something condensation i got a lot of water i got a lot of water in the light and it's only this light the the trunk one the other ones are fine the other ones are fine it's just this one the corner light so i reached out to hrs and they're going to send me another one for free um it's still under warranty it's a one year warranty with the tail lights so um if that's happening to you guys i make sure you contact them so they can give you another light so the reason that i'm taking them off is because i don't i'm i don't want to run them like this because um i don't want to have a wiring problem maybe in the future or or soon because there's water in here you know I'm, I'm afraid that it might do something to the wiring or my headlights or my tail lights whatever all my lights so that's what I'm, I'm doing right now i'm gonna show you the the way it looks when i'm done i also been playing with um the vinyl wrap um i vinyl wrapped my license plate the front one only i didn't do the back one yet so i already got my my personalized plates ordered already so they should be coming like in month and a half or two months so i got them black too so 
I think the white stands out too much, so I got them the the black and yellow license plates, and um, that's it. So if this happens to you, make sure you take them off immediately. Look at this, a lot of water in there. Look at this. You see the water in there. So um, I contacted HRS and they replied to me the very next day and then I sent pictures. I did it to the support um, email and then um, they uh, replied right away and they told me that they were gonna send me a replacement um, immediately and um, they have really good customer service. I never had a problem with them. Um, so if this happens to you, make sure you take off your light and um, put your stock back on. If this ever happens again to me, I'm just gonna take these lights off and I'm gonna I'm gonna do the touring um, the touring um, tail lights. So all, all you have to do is get the the harness and get the this light that has a working uh, um, brake light. So if that ever happens again, I'm just gonna do the conversion to the touring, and that's it. So let me show you. Um, I came out all right so now I'm going to demonstrate how I turned out so this one is only going to turn on with a brake light even when the headlights are on it's not going to be on all the time and that's what I wanted because I just felt that there was too many lights in the back so I'm going to do the brake light first and then I'm going to turn on the headlights and um, then do the brake If you guys like the way that looks uh, if you guys don't like the way that light looks and you don't want to take it off and make it functional you would just cut that wire like i showed you and uh it'll just work as a brake light all right that's going to be the end of the video thanks for watching subscribe like and share if you like it um consider subscribing um follow me on instagram jrod.custom and i'll catch you in the next one